It's LeVac and Goss on 104.5 The Team. Goss, what are you working on? Well, this weekend, tomorrow, tip-off set for 7 o'clock. Seth Q Arena is Albany host Stony Brook in the quarterfinal action of their conference tournament. You can hear the game right here on 104.5 The Team. In the what? Six- That's right. You're home- We're on the team? <laughs> yeah, the Great Danes all year long. This is worth it. Is that like is Bill this a Walton? new development? Are you Bill Walton? I was like, what? They're on this station? <laughs> I want to apologize right now on behalf of the human race for this travesty. We're going to talk to closer Brian Mariano at 6.15 coming up. Oh, man. <laughs> I sell job there for closer. Anyways, quarterfinal matchup at home. The Great Danes preseason were picked as the number two team in the conference. Yes. You look at the Stony Brook matchup coming up. For a successful season for the Great Danes, for fans of the program, do they have to win this game against Stony Brook to have this viewed as a successful season? This has been an interesting year. And and well aware of the fact that, that Coach Will Brown is listening at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> which he has made abundantly clear. They came out of the gate so strong, like before they hit conference play, that it was almost unfair the expectations we put on them. But... That's their fault for being really good. Then they get the conference play, and they have a they have a small dip, and we all start to panic. Now, just like we said yesterday for Sienna, this is a new season. You know, they, they, they get a home game tomorrow. If they win that home game, unless something crazy happens, they go to Vermont. So, I mean, first things first, can't overlook the home game. Got to make sure you take down the Seawolves. If you do so... I think we all knew at some point there would be an Albany Vermont matchup. Just nobody thought it'd be the second round. Yeah, it's a really good answer. You dodged my question, which is fine because I'm going to answer what is it. Anyways. I'll tell you. What, is it? what was your if question? If you lose to Stony Brook, is it still viewed as a success? Terrible season? season. Horrible season. Okay. And you're smiling as you say that. Just to tick off, coach. Anyways. It really depends how you lose. Uh, okay. If they go out there and they don't perform well, that's pretty bad because they're a good team. I want to go with the Siena comparison you just had there for a second because we've heard from a lot of Siena fans over the course of the last 24 hours. And a lot of Siena Saints fans believe their goal every season should be in contention for a conference championship because they understand that their conference is a one-bid league. And why Siena Saints fans are so frustrated is that they believe the program right now is not where they hoped it should be, which is in contention for that conference championship. Albany is in a spot where, because of their success of players of the past and Coach Brown and others, that when you think about their conference, they're in contention. There's a reason why they were voted as the second best team in the preseason poll. And if you ask the players on the team, what is your goal this season? It should be to win the conference tournament. It should be to play in the NCAA tournament. It should be to play as a good team and win a lot of games this season. That should be the team's goal. So if you don't accomplish the goal you set out as a team... Yeah, those guys are going to be ticked off. Yeah, those guys are going to feel disappointed. You tell me a guy like Joe Cremo, Travis Charles, and others, if they don't go out there and get the NCAA tournament bid, they're not going to be disappointed and feel like they failed this season? Yeah, that's the way they're going to come off because they're ultra competitors, man. True story yesterday, right? I get back to the apartment, and you know I love March Madness. I'm trying to find these like go-to games and these perfect conference tournaments to start recruiting. I say recruiting in my mind. That's what it feels like. Recruiting the teams that are going to help me win my bracket challenge. I'm trying to find these schools that nobody else is talking about. And somehow my YouTube searches took me to three years ago to the Peter Hooley shot because that oh was before God. I worked here. That's I, amazing. Right. You were there courtside. I didn't start working here in Albany until May of 2015, <laughs> 2016. That was the first yeah. time that Will Brown scared the life out of me. Coach scares you? Yeah, what cause, uh, well, because we rushed to court and... I find Coach, and I'm like, Coach, congrats, man. You Look how much you, you guys win when we're here. And he just, like, stopped smiling and looked at me deadpan and went, well, then why don't you come here more often? And, like, and it was just like, <laughs> yes, sir, I will be here, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> you go back and watch that clip, by the way, when Hooli hits the shot. Coach Brown is way up on the court, by the way. He's, like, <laughs> way on the court. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. But seeing that moment and realizing that Albany had been to the tournament so many times before even the Hooli shot goes in, you look and say, okay, that's now the expectation of the team. So I don't think I'm saying anything unfair to believe Albany has now set the basketball program that if they lose before the semis, if they lose before the finals, they feel like they had a disappointing season. Would you agree to that, Coach Will Brown? I don't agree to anything God says. I prefer <laughs> to, uh, you know, my allegiance to be with you, LeVac. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, is, is that where, like, because do the players look at it that way? You guys have set a pretty high bar. You've been very successful in recent history. 
let's say something goes wrong and, and you don't you don't advance deep into this tournament, will the, will it be hard to keep their chins up? Uh, absolutely, no doubt. Our goal is to win the America East Conference tournament. Um, if that doesn't happen, does that mean this uh, season is not a success? No, uh, but we'd be thoroughly uh, disappointed uh, if we do not. Um, you know, uh, we have high expectations uh, for ourselves, players and coaches, and uh, I think um, we teams in the past and this current team have created that expectation, uh, and, and I think that's a good thing. But, uh, you know, you also have to realize this time of year, in my opinion, is the best time of year in all of sports. Uh, March Madness and uh, these conference tournaments and the NCAA tournament, in my opinion, and there's some bias here because I'm a basketball junkie, um, you know, it's the best sporting events, plural, uh, you know, in the country. The Super Bowl is a one-day thing. You know, these conference tournaments and the NCAA tournament, it goes on for weeks. And uh, every day where you watch, uh, you know, on ESPN, you, you see upset after upset. And uh, that's why it's a fun time of year. Coach, you in Vermont always have these amazing matchups. How do you keep from looking past Stony Brook? Well, you need to realize that uh, if you consume yourself with Vermont, you're going to get a swift kick in the rear end by Stony Brook, and you're going to be watching Stony Brook play Vermont. Uh, you know, it's really that simple. Right now, you have seniors who are playing for their careers. Uh, you know, one slip up and you're packing the uniform up for good. Uh, so like I told our guys uh, a couple of days ago when we found out we were playing Stony Brook, we need to be all in and consumed with Stony Brook. That's the only thing we need to be thinking about because if we don't take care of business against Stony Brook, nothing else matters. Coach, for my medical opinion, I'm concerned about <laughs> Travis Charles. Can you give us an update for him tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a good thing that you're not quitting your day job. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Travis Charles has been upgraded. So you guys, are, I'm giving the, the info to you guys to run with. He was highly, highly, highly questionable. Yesterday he was highly, highly questionable. Today he's highly questionable. Oh, so oh, tomorrow we expect him to be questionable. <laughs> That's, yeah, take that. Put and that and I'm, breaking, I'm breaking this news on your show. I, see, I, that's why we love you. You always take care of us, Coach. There's no doubt about it. Well, now I'm just focused on taking care of LeVac. I got some issues with guys. <laughs> oh, it's the goodness. fanny pack, isn't it, Coach? In fact, he wears a <laughs> fanny pack. Yeah, talk about a front runner. I mean, oh, unbelievable. First of all, I like to say this. I got a blind side. I didn't know Coach was on the phone. I'm my own producer no. and my own co-host. Your producer don't... had nothing to do with it. It was all your co-hosts. I could, I, could, I, could, I could see guys in Crossgates Mall with two fanny packs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Coach, good luck hey, tomorrow. Well, hey, LeVac, what yeah. do they say if the shoe fits, wear it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stop. If, coach, the fan, if the fanny pack fits, fits wear it as well. Whatever, like I think. whatever you two. All right, Coach, good luck Unbelievable. tomorrow. Here he is comparing uh, what we're trying to do with what's going on down in the TU Center. Unbelievable. <laughs> Talk about trying to be politically correct and dropping the ball. Oh, my goodness. Coach, listen, hang on him. I'm done with this guy. and cheese was good, though. Oh, we didn't get any of that either. Oh, we, uh, oh, God. Why do I find it highly unlikely that you did not get at least a little bit of mac and cheese? It's, it's a weather thing. We would have had it otherwise. <laughs> uh, I hear you. Now, now the truth comes out. <laughs> Slowly but surely. None you know, of the bosses are around today. We'll figure out why you have some fun down here. Don't you worry. Coach, best of luck. We, um, you know, this, this America East is not going to be easy, but you, uh, you got Cremo, who got the uh, first team all conference. Uh, w- any, any? Did you get to talk to Nichols at all? That he he got left off the first team. That's that's kind of shocking to me. I thought he would find his way back on there. Well, you know, he he made the uh, the first team a year ago, and uh, he struggled the first half of uh, of conference play. And you know, the the tough thing is, uh, all I can do is nominate guys. Coaches vote. I think coaches vote for all different types of uh, reasons. Like me personally. Since I can't vote for my guys, I voted for three guys from Vermont to make the first team. I mean, they went 31-1 and in two years in conference play, and they only ended up getting one guy on first team. So for me, when I look at it, I try to reward uh, teams in the top half of the league, guys that win, guys that handle their business uh, the right way, and guys that have played well against us. Uh, That's just my criteria. Um, you know, so uh, nothing surprises me when it comes to all conference voting. Um, knowing David like I know him, I'm sure 
Uh, he'll use it as motivation. Nice. Um, I just hope that the juices aren't flowing too much. Uh, but I think he'll be he'll play with a chip on his shoulder through this conference tournament for sure. Coach, uh, thank you for listening, and we apologize for Gaz. I oh, mean, stop I, it. No, I got one more thing. I really oh, do th- think this show should be called the LeVac Show. Oh, I say one comment <laughs> about Coach Brown and Travis. Hey, Coach, I used to like you too, all right? successful the man's been. We probably should take or his advice. Or better yet, how about LeVac and the fanny bag? Oh, no, stop. <laughs> Hang up on him. Let's get him off here, Coach. Good luck tomorrow. Goodbye, Coach. Hey, you guys, you guys enjoy, the sh- enjoy the snow, yeah, and, and Gaz, I'll yeah. still leave you a ticket at Will Call. Yeah, you guys have a good one. That's, nice that's you, the way coach. to be. Uh, good luck, and uh, we look Take forward care, to guys. you guys on. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for the call. Now I'm in double Z's because <laughs> of my comments. Yeah, there you go. You're in the rafters. Poor Woods, you got blamed for that. Woods, you had nothing to do Woods, with it. Woods, how did you leave me hanging high and dry there? I You're the to... producer of the show. I get blindsided by Coach. I'm having this great rant Woods, about had nothing to do Albany with it. basketball, I... and you toss it to Coach. I saw the hotline, the hotline ringing. I had a feeling it was, it was probably it was, it was either Will Brown or. or I don't know. One of our bosses. One of our bosses, probably. So, <laughs> so I just let it go, and I knowing, <laughs> no, I, knowing, knowing that Levac would definitely pick it up. I thought you let me get. I thought I got it before you. I didn't know you let it go. You can't let the hotline go. If you <laughs> know, I, I go. Well, right when I right when I looked at you, you were about to pick it I up. So it, yeah. Yeah. For those that may not know, here in the studio we have a call screener. So Woods will, you know, as producing the show, he'll let us know. Hey, online, what oh, do we yeah, got? Jimmy yeah. and Kasaki. I have zero things on my screen where I right, sit. Right. So I'm going here doing the whole thing, and all of a sudden LeVac goes, and hey, we got Coach Brown online. What do you mean? What do you got Coach Brown? Hey, guys. No, he was he was, uh, he was was tweeting us, and I thought, you know, hey, time to time to get Coach back on the show. We haven't had him in a little bit. I missed him. And I really agree with everything he says about you. I, so, can, I, can I second that? No, you cannot. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> He's I don't even say anything Woods, mean. Woods just wants to get his name on the show. That's all. I mean, if we're taking Gaza's names off, I mean, there's no. a vacancy oh available, clearly. Everybody's just stabbing me in the back. I said, Travis Charles, <laughs> well, I was worried hey, about him. I didn't take the name off. Will Brown did, okay? I say I'm worried about one poor kid's injury, and I'm oh. the bad guy all of a sudden. You're oh, not a doctor, that's for darn sure. Look, I took a water class at Hobart, okay? A water oh, class? What is, what is that? I didn't take biology. You I got out of the biology you, no, stuff. You missed studied water. You took a water glass away from someone or something. <laughs> you drank everybody else's <laughs> bottles. All right, uh, best of luck to, to you, Albany, Cremo, Nichols, everybody, uh, our boy Steyer, and, and the whole team, and, of course, uh, Coach Will Brown. We're hoping that when we come in here on Monday, we're still talking about the, the, the great games they played this weekend. Yeah, hopefully I still have tickets, too. We'll, we'll see.